guys, Anthony Jones here with the Top Gun Jumbo, and in this video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the hidden light bar that I installed in the casting deck of my 14-foot Jumbo. The old flip-up light bar, my guys. I was able to dig up some old images and content from uh, pre-YouTube and take you back to the beginning and show you step-by-step -step exactly how I pulled off this modification. Very excited to show this to you guys. I hope that you can take something away from it. Um, if you're interested in uh, the products that I use in this portion of the build, they're going to be linked down in the description, so check that out. Um, guys, that's about it. I got more content coming in 2020. We're just getting this party started, so if you want to see more of it with the 12-foot build with this boat and a bunch of other random stuff, subscribe to the channel, guys. As always, may your tiny boat builds be great. Here is the boat in its factory form before any modifications have been done. I just wanted to show these shots to kind of show you what I was working with. And one thing I want you to take note of is the metal step up deck at the front of the boat. This is the platform that I decided to do. Initially my game plan consisted of just having one drop down hatch in the rear to allow for storage under the deck and I had no hatches on top. So this is my version one casting deck for the Top Gun John boat. And then you could see I actually mounted the light bar, carpeted everything, and it did not take me very long to do a redesign and onto version two. So in version two, I cut the framing and then I was gonna make room here in that metal deck for the light bar. You can see I began to remove some of the sheet metal and insulation and uh, continued to cut away at the front of that. And this is my version two framing package, how that turned out. You can see I added Artec insulation foam in this shot, stacked the foam on the edges and was actually able to utilize a little bit of the factory foam. Another thing to look at is on the left and right here, you can see that there is a about a one inch metal lip of aluminum under my framing. And that allowed me to build a, a uh, stow and actually drop it in place and it rests on that lip. In long term, it was glued and screwed and that compartment is actually made out of half inch cabinet grade material. I wanted a nice, smooth, professional finish. And then you could see here the completed rebuild of the casting deck. Here is the light bar mounted to the hatch in mock-up form, just uh, trying to get my height right. And then here's that same hatch and you could take note of me cutting the hole for the latch and then adding that runner underneath the hatch for more support. From here, it was final paint, carpet, and then adding the latch, the hardware, and the gas struts. I wanted to show this shot because this is the um, framing and how my cable actually goes through the framing. I use PVC after I drill with a Forstner bit and that just stiffens it up and helps protect it. And then this shot shows the bottom of that front stow compartment and how I properly sealed everything before permanently mounting it in the boat. And it also shows my other parts of the boat. And here is the final framing package and how it looked before I covered it all up. And this shows that front stow compartment and how it all turned out and this was the final framing for the Top Gun John boat. You can see the wiring in the channel behind that hatch and that black wire is the light bar wire but you can also see the custom hinge system that I built to support that hatch lid. Here is an above shot of the finished version 2.0 of the casting deck. Here you can see the light bar is 22 inches. The actual width of the hatch lid itself is 25 inches. And here she is guys in all of her glory, the 100% complete hidden light bar mod. I used 1 flat aluminum around the perimeter of the underside of the hatch lid. 
There is the flush pull latch with the runner underneath it. And that 1 8 aluminum allows me to mount my struts through into the wood. And it really helps stiffen everything up as far as where those struts are mounted. Um, that hatch with the light bar, when it's, when it's up and the boat is running in the water, it does take some stress from turbulence. So I try to make everything structurally sound with a hinge system and the strut system. There you can see the wire going through the framing with that PVC. And here is just a look at the finished product of that stow compartment. It turned out very nice. I did put wheat poles in the corner in case it took on water. But this boat has actually been in a monsoon on the lake and I had no water whatsoever get into any of my hatches. There's the catch for the flush pull latch. I think that no water got in because you can see here when I close my hatches, they form a pretty tight seal when it's locked and secure. Here is the command center for the Top Gun John boat, and I've got that light bar running on a switch. And you can see that switch again here at night. It illuminates when it's activated, and there's the light. And the light is bright, guys. It is a bright light bar, and definitely fun to have at night. All in all, I'm very happy with the result, and I hope you've enjoyed checking out this modification from start to finish.